Hey you guys, welcome back to another Kimball's Corner where I know I said I was gonna take a break last week, but let's be real. Okay, me and Miss Jelly, we had a little talk. We're gonna try and work it out. No inks this time, no alcohol inks. I'm gonna try some of my Jane Davenport matchmaker paint and charismatic paint and see what I can do. I'm gonna try and paint a portrait on it. See if I can transfer it. Now I'm not expecting it to transfer perfectly because it, you know, I'm me and I'm never perfect, but I'm hoping I can transfer a very good likeness of the portrait that I paint on here and then I can go back in and like touch things up afterwards and make it a little more exciting. So let's see if I can do this. Still got a lot of uh, leftovers on this, so that's going to be interesting. Also, I mean, that is one of the things that I actually really like about the jelly plate is that bits stay behind and get put onto new pieces. So we're gonna see how that goes. And I think you can clean this with like a baby wipe or something, but who does that? So basically, I'm gonna do a portrait here. I might do the eyes right through here and like the rest of the face down here. We'll see, we'll see. I'm just gonna, just gonna start. But I do want to use some stuff that I left downstairs. So, hmm, what do I have here? I'm too lazy to go downstairs, so I'm gonna open up a new pack of uh, stuff. Oh, look! I may have hoarded some stuff when I found out they were going out of stock. I don't know what color I wanna use, but I basically wanted to uh, do some line work for the eyes and whatnot, as I just go right for this one. I don't know what color I want, but I go right for this one. Let's see how, let's just cross your fingers, hope, hope it turns out. but it doesn't have to be perfect, which is nice because we all know that I cannot do a perfect transfer. I have not obtained those skills yet. Maybe I'll use the pink one. I'm going to get my paints out and get them on my palette. And we're gonna go from there. Whoo, we're hoping this is gonna work out. Got some colors laid out. We're hoping this will turn out. I don't know. I also don't know why I put these away because I might still use them. I wonder, because these are translucent. Oh, it still works quite well though. And it is ink rather than acrylic paint. But, you know, I thought I should color in the whites of her eyes a little. Let's pretend like I know what I'm doing. And start mixing some colors. And try to keep it thin. Like you don't want to go too heavy. But also, like I say, it's going to get a little funky-fied with all that stuff. All of this <laughs> that's going to come through anyway. So it's not too big of a deal. And then once I transfer it, I plan on drawing more in with the paint pens or colored pencil or something. Haven't really thought that far ahead. Just use that as the whites for the eyes, because why not? It's very light. And if you know me, you know I love color. There's no real rhyme or reason to what I'm doing. I just like to layer things on. Remember when I said to go on thin and now I'm like laying it on super thick? That's me! <laughs> I do what I want. Hopefully some kind of face shape is coming out of this. She's gonna have some bright, bright lips. Somewhere down here is a shadow. Again, I don't know. I'm just, I never really care about the final result, especially when it comes to a jelly plate. Like I know it's gonna turn out crazier than I think it's going to. So I just like to have fun. I think art should be fun more than anything, but that's just me. And I have no idea how this is gonna turn out because painting a portrait like this little swoopy, not really gonna show up so much on the other side, or maybe it will, I don't know. Always fun to find out though. She's kind of got like Twilight Sparkle hair going on from My Little Pony. Now I'm just kind of filling in blank spots around the page. It's like the idea of a face. I'm basically just 
layering on this pink because I don't like wasting it. And will I regret it? Probably. Do I care? Not so much. Until the time comes and I'm like, why didn't it work? We're just gonna do that. I'm gonna color her eyes in on the other side. Like after I flip it, a little touch of purple in there. It's kind of fun just painting like this. It's like, I don't know, no worries. Really not concerned with the final outcome. I really just hope it pulls a lot of the stuff off of my jelly plate. It's beautiful, I know. Hold your applause till the end. So what I'm gonna do now is thoroughly clean my brush. I need to get one of those things that go in the bottom of your water cup. It's like a little, has a bunch of little things like this so you can like rub your brush and it cleans it. How did I get paint on my fingers? How does that happen with, I'm all, with paint, how does it happen? All right, putting this aside, I'm going to, I'm gonna dry her and then I'm gonna put on a layer of paint and I'm gonna use this pink paint because it was sitting right there. Well, no, why don't I use that it's sitting right here? And uh, we'll see what happens. Pulling out the hair dryer. All right, so she is dry, probably. Let's see the other side real quick. I'm curious, girl, that is creepy. But you can see the face and uh, yes, this is gonna be very interesting. Cross your fingers, we hope this works. Um, maybe I won't use this one actually, just because wah, it's easier to get paint out of these. But I'm wondering, maybe I will do a skin tone throughout the whole thing, just to make it a little subtle. And then I can add my pops of color in with like, uh, I can add the pops of colors in with either paint pens or colored pencils or whatever. All right, guys, here goes a whole lot of nothing. I don't think it's gonna work. It looks like it's already dry. So panic mode. Let's just flip it and hope for the best. All right, give it a good press and close the book on it. <sighs> clean the brayer. Ooh, it's pretty clean. Are we all terrified? I know I am. Let's hope this turns out. Hmm? I feel like it's gonna be quite the task getting those inks off. Maybe I should just go get a baby wipe and, you know, clean the sucker. All right, I'm gonna let this sit for a few minutes and when I come back, we'll cross our fingers and hope for the best. See you guys in a bit. All right, so um, it's been a while. <sighs> I gotta say, after last week, I'm not feeling wonderful about this, but we gotta do it. Um, on the plus side, I have all the colors of paint that I used, so <laughs> I can just paint over it. Okay guys, here we go. I mean, it's sticking, so that's a bonus. A lot of it's coming off though. Oh, that was a pretty good transfer. I got a lot of that ink off. Oh, I'm still kind of wet there. That's my bad. I mean, I laid it on thick, went against my own advice. But we got a face. I'm gonna do this for just a second, just to make sure it's nice and dry. I think I'm just gonna come in with the LTQ pen and do some black line work because I can see the face clear enough. Let's just see, let's just go for it. I'm so not used to drawing the face this way. I like to do the head turned the other way.
This is fun. Okay, so got some line work done. Now I'm gonna come in with colors. And that makes it even more fun. And you know me, I can't leave well enough alone. I just love all the options I have. Let's see how this goes on. A bit more vibrant. Makes the colors pop a little bit more. I just <clears throat> tone down the black line a little. Shape the face just a little bit. I mean, she does need some hair, or you know, the hint of hair. or something. Let's see. Kind of starting to fall in love with her. Kind of just using this blue as like a shadow, but not really. It's it's the idea. Okay, okay, we're loving it. We're loving it. I feel like I want to push that back like around her face so I'm going to get there's a color in here ah this one it is great for pushing things back but I want to water it down as well just a little bit And maybe just a touch under her chin. A little shadow. Now I'm just going crazy with it because that's what I do. It's just such an easy way to create a nice little shadow.
there. That helped pop her face out just a little bit. Nothing so dramatic. Now I could do the same thing with like a really pale color or even white to like kind of even out the skin tones and bring her forward a little more, which I might try. This might fail epically, but whatever. Won't know until you try, am I right? Oh, that's nice and subtle. I'm not wanting to, I'm not wanting to uh, get rid of my background. I just want to lighten it a little to help her stand out. Very subtle. Now I'm gonna dry this with the hair dryer, and then I might do some little things here and there with some of the white. Alrighty, I'm gonna grab my white Storytime paint pen and just do some white detailing because it's fun and I like doing it. And it's so easy to go overboard with these the white details, but I think it looks good. And it's one of my favorite things to do. You know me, I like freckles. Of course, with this background, they kind of just get lost, but still fun. Just adding some little highlights in the hair. And may as well just do some strands while we're at it. I feel like I should be doing an ASMR video with this, these little noises. And I think with that, I think we can call her good. Clean off my brush real quick. I mean, it was touch and go there for a little bit, but I actually really like how she turned out. I think my favorite part was the green in her hair. And I think that's because that color wasn't really anywhere else. So it kind of enlivened the picture a little bit, gave it a little bit more personality. All in all, I'd have to say I'm quite happy with this one. Woohoo! Thanks, Jelly Plate. <laughs> I really need to clean it. Oh, the poor thing. Oh. If you guys have any tips on cleaning jelly plates, I mean, I want to just take a baby wipe to it, but is that going to destroy it or not? I don't know. So thank you for uh, tuning in with me, and hopefully you learned something. I know I didn't really. I just, I just had fun and made it up as I went. I'm not going to remember the details of what I did, but I had a good time. That's all I'm going to remember. So thank you guys so much for joining me. I hope you had a good time. I mean... Can we just use some more products when doing this? Thanks, you guys, for tuning in. And uh, yeah, I think she turned out quite nicely. I'm glad I got a lot of that stuff off my jelly plate. And uh, just look at all these beautiful colors that go so well together. What's not to love? All right, I will see you next time. Is it going to be next Friday? I don't know. But I'll see you next time. Take care, you guys. Bye-bye.